Hey guys! Hello everyone! And welcome to another episode of Massey Art Studios. I'm Jeremy. And I'm Lee. Yes, you are. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and today's episode, uh, it is Easter Sunday. It is Easter Sunday. How amazing is that? Yeah, happy Easter everyone. Yeah, happy Easter everyone. Yeah, today's such a great day. Um, it's absolutely gorgeous outside. And uh, we're really, really excited about today's pours. I'm going to be doing something that I haven't done in a very long time. Um, and it's going to be a surprise. Oh, okay. And what are you going to be doing? I am going to do... I'm going to use one of the paintpourstore.com's split cups. Yes. They're beautiful cups with the handles. One of our sponsors for the Fluid Art Experience, in yes. fact. And they're donating a $500 motorized spinner yeah. to go in one of the baskets. I mean, how cool is that? Yeah. So I'm going to use their split cup. And I think I'm going to do a galaxy pour. Oh, nice. Yeah, mix between a ring pour and a straight pour. Ring pour nice. Straight pour. Yeah, nice. that's the plan. Nice. And as you would have seen on Friday uh, with Pouring the Tea with Massey, uh -huh. you now know who our two final artists are. Six in total. Six in total. Mixed Media Girl and Pieces of Tara. They complete the package, which is Massey Art Studios, Sarah Taylor Modern Art, Cos Creations, Art, and Garrick Brown Art Studio. Yes. So, I'm so excited. I'm excited. Too. We have such a great lineup for the Fluid Art Experience mm -hmm. uh, in July. Not to mention... The free demo on how to stretch your canvases by Jerry Zartorama. Right. The free art performance by Cole's Colour. Right. And lots of other shenanigans that's going to go on that whole weekend too. It's going to be it's going to be tremendous. It is going to be tremendous. It's going to be bigger and better. Yes. So exactly. we're really excited. About Can that. you tell? <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys. So why don't we go ahead and get to the table? Let's do it. I want to see what you're doing, sir. Mm -hmm. Hey guys, it is Jeremy here, and as you can see, I'm so excited because my right arm is actually working some today. Yes. You're still I'm, going to be very careful when you tilt because you're not allowed I, to lift things. I am. I'm going to be very, very careful mm -hmm. about that. Um, but you but, know, four weeks post-op and the doctor has said for you to use it. You just yeah, got to be careful. Be very careful. Um, I have a 24 by 24 inch canvas. That's why you're excited. Yes. Because it's a big old canvas. It's a big canvas. I'm right. loving it. Um, it has been pinned and taped on the bottom. Uh, I'm really excited about the colors and the type of pour that I'm doing today. I haven't done one of these in a very long time. A very, very, very long time. Yes, very long time. Um, but I am doing an open cup. Right. I got my little open cup right here. I'm going to be honest with everyone and say we did try this maybe about a month ago and it didn't work. It didn't work and out we well. We scraped and kind of just did something yeah. different instead because yeah. at the time we didn't have a lot of time. Yeah. Um, but I'm really, I think that your paint consistencies are right this time. And I think so too. Yeah, I'm excited to see how this turns uh, out. Yeah, I know, me too. Um, I got some great colors. Let me introduce those colors to you. Mm -hmm. I have Deco Arts, um, Metallics, Pearl White which is stunning pearl. If you can get your hands on some, get it. Um, I have this teal blue, uh, la uh, la blue lagoon. Teal blue lagoon. Oh. I thought it was just teal, but it's teal I blue lagoon. Think, uh, uh, it's goldens. I think it is teal, but I think that's the French. Bleu lagoon. <laughs> okay. I think that. I'm just gonna go with blue lagoon. I like it. Um, now this is bronze by Amsterdam. Mm -hmm. I don't use this a lot. I don't no, think we haven't. use a lot, but I really i am digging it for this uh, I'm surprised that cup. you didn't put 24K in there because of its selling action. Uh, well, I think the Amsterdam will sell up. We will see. We will see. We shall see. Now I have this orange Azo by uh, Amsterdam Acrylics. Mm -hmm. I don't have my glasses on, so I was like really struggling to read that one. And then we have primary red violet light or permanent red violet light by Amsterdam. Mm -hmm. A lot of Amsterdam today. There is, but they're good colors. And for my base coat, I am using Mars Black. Now you do have this blue also, which was one of the leftover colors. Yes, yes, and this is phalo blue. It is. Yes, so I have phalo blue mixed up in there too. So if, if you haven't seen an open cup before, tell me what the concept of this is. Like, what is the plan? Okay, an open cup is I flood my canvas right. with, uh, with my base coat. Um, I take the, I, I cut a cup, the top off, or the bottom off of a cup, and uh, you flip it over and you stick it on the canvas, and then you put paint, uh, a base coat paint around mm -hmm. the, around your cup. Right. And then what you do is, is that you pour multiple layers of the different colors into the center of the cup. And what it does is that it pushes the paint out from underneath the cup. Right. 
out onto the canvas. So it's like a control paint grenade, almost. Kind of, yeah. Because the, the, it's the lip of the paint, lip it of is. the cup that is going to be kind of melding the paints together. Exactly. And what's the consistency of these? Um, the consistency is a, is a light trace. Okay, so there's no mounding. There's, there's no mounding. Right. Yeah, it's just it's just a light trace. Like okay. whenever you do it, you see a trace and it disappears. Got it. So it's somewhere in between our everything else and our Dutch pour pouring consistency. It's like Completely. in the middle. It's in the middle. The reason for that being that you want that thinner consistency to promote the cells. Absolutely. Right? And that kind of slipping and sliding of each other. Exactly. Something to consider. Yes is the position of your cup when you're wanting to remove it from the canvas. If yes. your cup is closer to one of the edges, it's gonna be easier to remove it, yes. rather than if it were in the center of the composition and then try and like spinning it off. Yes, exactly. So that's just one thing to think about when you're doing your open yeah. cups, right? I think I'm gonna do something a little bit different that, with that though. Oh, exciting. I'm not gonna spin it off the side of the canvas. Fine. I will just kind of turn it. Um, but I'm going to take my stick and I'm going to drizzle a little bit of the color on, t on top. So that way whenever I take it off and I stretch it out, it's going to have some interesting uh, composition lines. I love it. it when you mix it up and do something yeah. that's very different. Let's see how it works <laughs> out. I'm excited for each other. I'm getting stank eye right now. No, no, there's no stank eye. It's just like, you know, last time when a cup didn't work out. So I love how you just mixed it up. But you know, that's the control freak in me. You do whatever you want. I love to do things. Creativity about. I love to do things. All right, let's get to it then. All right, let's get to it. Okay guys, so I got my base coat all down. I covered my entire canvas, got the edges. Um, I have my open cup right here. Now you can see it better against that black. Right. Um, but I did, I cut the bottom off of this and I'm gonna turn it and I'm gonna use the top of the cup onto the canvas. Okay. And I'm gonna do two of these actually. I'm gonna do two, two open cups, one here and then one here. So I'm gonna start with this one first. Now, I think I'm going to go ahead and move the cup. Yeah, I was gonna drizzle on top of it. Now I'm just thinking, I'm kind of questioning myself on what I should do. Maybe I should do a little bit of a swipe with the cup. I mean, not a swipe, a, uh, a lip. We'll see how that turns out. Then this happens. <laughs> okay guys, you know what time it is. Wait, what time is it? It is tilting time. Let's tilt this bad boy out.
Holy moly, guys. Wowzers. I'm in love with this. Very, very colorful. And it is cell-tastic. There is like cells everywhere on this thing. It's so incredible. I'm loving that bronze coming up through here, the orange. Yeah. Like all of the colors are represented. I, I'm I'm in love with this. It piece. definitely looks like the inside of like a, a sliced piece of rock. I was a little yeah. skeptical about how you were removing your open cups, but it actually integrates really well. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I love it. So we're gonna take you guys in for a close up. Let's do it. And yeah, and that's me. Okay. Thanks, guys. Ladles and jelly spoons. Jeremy, that was an intergalactic, interstellar experience you took oh, me on in you. that open cup. I'll be honest, like I said, there was a time where I was like, what in the heck is he doing with this cup? <laughs> but, but I actually like the way that the, the copper came out and that the teal was integrated. I think there's going to be a lot of black that's going to come back up from underneath that one as it sits. But it looks like you've sliced a rock and that was what was inside. Yeah, really, really interesting. Uh, I am going to do a leftover paint pour oh, okay. on this 18 by 24 inch canvas. Ah. The one thing I am yet to decide is what I'm going to do. I know I've got my colours, but I'm not sure yet how I'm going to get them onto the canvas. I am going to use the paintpourstore.com's wonderful four chamber, humongous split cup. That is definitely something I'm going to do. And the colours that I've got sitting around this table, show pony, help me out. This is definitely Deco Art Pearl White. Yes. You've just used it. And this is Deco Art Americana 24 karat gold. Yes. This one is the Treasure Gold. Okay. And, or antique copper. I think it was actually a concoction that we came up with ourselves. It's it antique was. copper, treasure gold. Yeah. Might even be quinacridone burnt orange in there. Got it. This one? Nico Azo Gold. Perfect. This is Payne's Grey by Golden, another golden colour. Now this is two. This is primary magenta and dioxazine purple that I mixed together. Oh nice. Yeah, so it's come up this really almost like the like the blue violet, the Amsterdam yeah. colour. Yeah. It's not or lavender by any means no, it's definitely not, no, a really it's lovely violety purpley color i yeah. love that one this one that one is just going to be your uh is it phalo blue phalo blue got it and then this is actually the pearl turquoise i believe yes that is the um or is the it phalo turquoise the phalo turquoise yes oh, by golden and it's got some shimmer and shine in there as well so it's probably you probably added gold to it uh, i probably did or the vallejo pearl medium mm. that was kind of possibly what yeah. it would have been yeah so there's my i'm going to use eight colors in this four chamber cup because i got four pearls and four op opaques so oh, that yeah. was intentional um, let's get layering this cup first. Uh, I'm going to do it right here for you, show pony, if I may. Darth. Mm -hmm. All righty. So I am thinking about the colours. I've got four chambers. So I'm going to use the four opaques in each chamber. And I'm going to start with this far chamber. No, I'm going to go lighter in the far chamber. So in this first chamber here, I'm going to put in my wonderful concoction deliciousness this was the primary magenta and dioxazine purple mixed together oh well, you went for it with that one yeah i'm filling the chambers up but on top of that i am going to put the antique coppery concoction very nice is going right there okay in my next pot i'm going to start with my uh, I'm going to start with, I want to go light, dark, light, dark, so I'm going to put in Payne's Grey. Okay, I'm going to do something a lot different. So I'm going to go white, then I'm going to do gold, then I'm going to go Payne's Grey. And I'm going to do that one more time. So white. I can't wait to see what this is going to look like. You and me both chuckles. Gold. 
and paint's grey. All right. So then I'm going to go lighter again. So this time I'm going to put in my nickel azul gold. Nickel azul gold. Use all of that up. And on top of the nickel azo, I'm going to put the wonderful phthalo turquoise. Phthalo turquoise. That's a really good choice, I think. I love those two colours together I do in too. the pot. I so really we'll do see. Too. Then in our far chamber, then I'm going to go the darker blue. So I'm going to put the blue, but I am going to drizzle a little gold. And then darker blue, a little bit of white, sandwich a bit of gold and white in this far chamber. There we go. And that is my split cup done. All right, so I've mixed a little bit of the 24 karat gold and a little bit of the pearl white together. It was kind of just what was left over in the cup because I'm going to pour those onto my canvas and I'm going to pour into here. Mm. And as I've been sitting mulling over these colors, what I've decided to do is actually a galaxy pour. So I'm going to go through a difference of straight pour and ring pour. Okay. You went galactic with your open cups. I'm gonna kind of do the same thing and see what happens. So I have my delicious big old jug here with a handle from paintpourstore.com. You can use Massey Art and get yourself a little discount. These are super handy if you really just need to hold a handle. And they're super e like easy to hold as well. Really, yes. really nice. And I'm gonna pour right in the middle of this. Now the galaxy pour for everyone at home is this. I'm gonna go in circles and do rings and then I'm gonna go straight and then do up and down. Then I'm gonna do some circles and then I'm gonna go up and down. That's the galaxy pour. Go for it. Okay, let's do it. Okay, bit of a terrible dismount there. Let's fix really? that first. We also got a little squiggle in the middle. Uh, well, it's looking amazing. Well, thank you, Chef. It's really looking amazing, especially with that white and gold next to each other. All right, so let's fix this little squiggle. It's gonna take a skewer and just integrate it into the design. So it doesn't look quite so much like a mistake anymore. Um, I'm going to tilt this one a little back because I did come a little towards the bottom of my canvas. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to get a flow extender around this. All right, so this is our tub of many colors. This is scrapings from the table. It's leftover paints. There is a ton of color in here, but it's turned out this really wonderful kind of like almost sea glassy green, that Arteza color it looks a little like. It's got a bit of pearl in there too because there's a little bit of shimmer on there but I'm gonna use this one as a flow extender. So let's cover this canvas. All right, so I took a step back and I was looking at my composition. I wasn't intending on wrecking this one, but there is a lot of gold that's gonna be in the center. And as I stretch this one out, it's just gonna become more and more gold. So I am gonna take a chopstick and I'm gonna wreck this one first to try and integrate some of the other colors into the middle of the composition. Mm. Right? So let's do that first.
that's amazing. All right, ladles and jelly spoons, you know what time it is. It is tilting time. It's tilting time. Let's tilt this bad boy out. So there you have it, folks. Um, yeah, I played with this one a lot. Um, I didn't really love those two kind of very colourful edges that I had, so I took off a lot of the gold. I still opened up some of the gold ribbons, though, so you can still see all the wonderful colours underneath it. There's still a lot of gold on here, for sure. Probably way more than I went into this thinking I was going to get, but I really do like it. I like it a lot. Um, you know, I think that there's clearly a lot of sparkle on this one, but I really do love the blues and the purples you can still see and all the wonderful colours. Yeah, I'm glad you took off some of that purple. Yeah, it just needed it, but I've still got purple coming through mm -hmm. some of the gold areas too. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm happy with this one. I, I wanted to try and create some, some sort of balance in here, and I think I've got it. There's places for your eye to rest for sure, so I like the end composition. All right, people, I'm going to do this. I'm going to scrape my edges, and I'm going to take you in for a close-up. Nice. Let's do it. Let's do it. Two amazing pours. I absolutely loved my open cup. Has my double open cup. Open cup. That was the little surprise that you had. Yes. Yes. Okay. I haven't done one of those in 
ages and, and it felt so nice to do it again. Like I said at the table, we actually have, you have tried one of these about a yeah. few weeks ago and it didn't work out as you wanted it to. No. Well, this one was spot on for you, right? Thank you, yeah, it was mm -hmm. spot on. Yeah, the cells that we, I got were incredible on that. Listen, if you want cells, do a, do an open cup, do a paint grenade where the paints will, will slip on the lip of the cup and throw in some deco art paints and you're going to be guaranteed yeah. some wonderful cells. I, I think we get a lot of good cells from Amsterdam you products do. too. Depending on the thickness of your paint. Yeah. If your paint's a little thinner, you've got the opportunity to allow them to play with the densities, the densities yeah. of the paint and then that's what's created your cells. Yeah, so, and uh, how did you like yours? I loved it. Yeah. yeah, I didn't go into the pour thinking I was going to do a galaxy at the table. It was something I decided afterwards, even though I said it in the intro, because um, we've been playing with time trouble here. <laughs> uh, but I actually, I really loved the way I did it. I had a lot of gold. Mm. There was too much gold for kind of really what I wanted. There was a point where there was a big purple corner, a big blue corner, kind of played around with it, shifted yeah. it around a bit. But yeah, it's very blingy, it's very fun, and there's lots of rivulets of colour in between that gold. I loved it, I thought it was a beautiful form. Well, thank you. I just, I was, I was going for something a little bit more balanced in terms of the palette, but I really enjoyed how it happened. All right. Yeah. Well, guys, thank you so much for being here with us on, this, on your Easter weekend. Easter Sunday. There will be a train. I don't think that we're part of it because we're, we're posting early these days, but I'm sure Nina, I think Brian, maybe Dominic, maybe Nate, yeah. all those guys are pouring. Congratulations to Nate Bright Art, who's just got himself monetized. I know. And for anyone that has a YouTube channel, that's a big deal because it basically now means that you can send him super chats and super stickers. It means that he's going to get a tiny, tiny, tiny little bit of revenue off the ads that you guys watch when you watch our pause. Yes. So um, a plea from every single artist out there, is this, don't skip those ads. If you can, just watch it, because then we get a tiny little bit of monetization and that always helps us buy product and keep the channel going. Absolutely, guys. absolutely. So well done, Nate. Yes, anything else? Oh, I'm sorry, I was taking over, <laughs> uh, as always. No, and we're gonna be back on Tuesday with a really fun pour. Absolutely. And then Friday I'll be pouring with the tea with Matty again. I know. Mm -hmm. Interesting stuff schedule. coming up, guys. Absolutely. All, All right. right. Tell them, tell them we're going home. All right, we're, we're, I'm taking you out right now. Exactly. So, bye, guys. bye, guys. See you soon. And now to spank the Patreons. Yes, let's spank the Patreons. Let's do it. Who are the Patreons? Well, the Massy Posse, we like to call them, <laughs> are a group of people that have signed up to Patreon.com. And on our Patreonage, you have the opportunity to get levels and perks for different things. Yes. So at one level, you might get a sneak peek behind the scenes video or some footage. At another level, you'll be invited to monthly off the YouTube channel live streams. And at a separate level, you might also get once a month tutorials. Yes. So it's a really fun opportunity for people just to have a completely different view of Massey Art Studios. Mm -hmm. So we have some people to thank. Yes. At our gold level, we have Elizabeth Galano, Gillian Kennedy, we have Gloria Salaki, and Jane Klein. We have Janice Swansea and Kelly Stowell. We have Kirsten Blackley. We have Linda Seriani. We have Mary Doulas or Mama Doulas. Mama Doulas. Patsy Petrelli and Rebecca Hawes Winters. We have Sharon Luffy and Stephanie Hancock. We've got Tammy Housebrook. We've got Terry Leshner and we've got Trisha West. Yes. Then in our platinum level, we have Elaine Burton, Janice Pittman. And Steve. And Steve, we have Susan Chigori and Susan Shepperson. Susan Shepperson. Yes. And at our diamond level, at from one you level. all know and love, yes. it's Sparkles. Sparkles. So thank you so very much to those guys and everyone else that's here down below, our bronze and silver Patreons too. We really yeah. appreciate you. We really appreciate you wanting to be here with us and support us through this wonderful journey of art. Honestly, we really can't thank you enough, so thank you so very much. 